I'm foobard. My plans have gone out the window badly. I was planning on originally trying to save as much original paint as I could and just putting the semi-gloss clear over it. And now I've gone into a whole other zone. Um, it was working its way towards that. Uh, just by natural means of getting rid of stuff I didn't want. Down here had been painted before and fogged in. It looked goofy and then it was peeling. They had that double pinstripe up here which shouldn't be on the car that I got rid of and that kind of set this ball rolling. And then I was, I was just getting less and less left and then now I'm getting down to having all these little spots. You can show them. Actually that one I need sand. Feel that. That one, I've got a bunch of these that okay. are just yeah, I know. there's no putting clear over that. So now I'm down to trying to figure out how to make this paint look old. I'm gonna just put one thin coat on the whole thing, trying to make it look old. Of course, old paint is thin. So if you want to look right, I gotta make it thin. I'm gonna have to age it a bit, a bit, very little bit. I want, I just want it to look like a well-preserved old paint job. So I'll put a little bit of flattening agent in it. I'll put a red, uh, a, a uh, red, red oxide. oxide sealer under here. You see this car has got like red oxide under it and gray under it from the factory. Wherever you sand through. But, uh, so I'll get down to where you can see that red oxide. Very, very, very sparingly. The problem is the car's got a bunch of little dings on it, a bunch of little stuff. It would take me 200 hours to get this thing right easily. And then let's say I didn't get it right. I'm putting old trim back on it. I'm putting, you know, everything under here. I, I, would, I would end up blowing this car apart, sandblasting everything, you know, I mean, like, it, it would snowball. It would end up on a rotisserie and it would snowball. And yeah, the car's probably worth doing, but that's not what the people want. They want a car they can drive. I had a nice car once, and frankly, nice cars suck. I like building them for people that like to live their life one cleaning rag at a time, but I'm not that guy. And these folks, they, they want to drive the car. So it's keeping the little dings and imperfections, which is why one of the reasons why I want this paint to look old. I want it to look like it survived. Uh, not something I typically do. Drives my OCD really freaking nuts, leaving dings and stuff too. But I, I, I know if I start down that road where I'm going. I've been down this road many, many, many times. Usually I let jobs explode into something bigger than it should be. In this case, I'm trying not to. So there's just ain't no right answer. But what I'm going to try is to do something that I don't know really how to do, is to make new paint look like old paint. I did try it once on my car, on my roof. And I, okay, a little, little more than I want to do here. But I'm thinking we're just going to end up with... A thin coat of that base over all this, and of course two coats on this stuff after the red oxide. And then just age it just a touch. I mean, and then a very couple really thin coats of clear. Just to try to keep the material count down so it doesn't look like it's got built up. And it looks like it's old paint. Let's see if my theory works. That's it. So what are you painting tomorrow morning? Probably. I try to put base on today if I can. I'll mm -hmm. see. And then Later sand today. through your base tonight. I mean, I've got to clean everything again now. Yeah, and then we'll sand through some of the base More tonight and stuff like it. that. Yeah, I, if I get the base on tonight, I can look at it tomorrow and see if I like it, you know. Yeah. The other thing on this, I can't have dirt. Uh, yeah, semi-gloss clear. I can't buff it. Yeah. Because if I buff it, it's shiny. But my valve flat and how much flying I put in it, I'm going to screw it up. So it's got to be... Good. Now, I've got a few things. I, I if, if the base has something in it I don't like, I'll, I'll take it out. So we're not trying to deal with that. And uh, then if I put the first coat of clear on it and it gets a bug in it or something, well, we'll let that harden up. We'll send that first coat of clear and we'll give her a next coat. And, and you know, and usually once you do that, you've, you've settled everything and it's in the shop. And I'll put clear on early morning, like early, early, before the bugs are out. And then... We're gonna hope it works. That's, that's all we can do. I gotta look in mind I want when I'm done. But you know, you paint a car nice and shiny and fresh and make it pretty and then stick old bumpers on it and old trim on it and, and you know, you've got a few imperfections and it's not, it looks dumb. It just, it just mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, no, it can't look like a freshly painted yeah, car. Yeah, it looks like you did half a job. I, I don't want that. I want it to look like a legitimate yard find like it was. But unfortunately, I'm painting too much of it. I've, 
It just is what it is. So now, now I can't make it look right doing what I originally thought I wanted to do. The hood's pretty good, but man, the rest of it just sucks. I got this thing here. This, you can see the spots. They really, you know, the spots really don't come out. I've let this thing get so bad now sitting in the shop here. But that's what the spots turn into. But you see those spots, they look like shit. Yeah. So I can't do that. And that's with shiny clear on it, on the old paint. You see how dumb that looks. Um, that's at least semi-gloss. That's semi-gloss. We'll have probably a little more shine in this, I think. I'll, I'll shoot for it. Just a, you a know, somewhere more. between these two. Yeah. But, so I want it to look like old lacquer. You know, just as much as I can make it look like old lacquer. I want it to look like old lacquer. But then, like, the jams aren't getting painted, nothing, you know, like, it's very outside the car. I will have to do around the trunk jam. I have no choice. I got to do it inside the trunk floors. So it's all that's new, you know. Um, like, like, all I will get done. Underneath the hood was done. We did this before, and this is a, this is a, a semi gloss. Yeah, this is preliminary. The paint match wasn't perfect. Yeah, we were just trying, but. Adjusted since then. Yeah. But, but that's, that's not. kind of the. Not bad. It's a uh, because this was all gone. We did another video of this before. This was all gone. But the old car, and, and and anybody that sits there and says, "Oh, it should be restored." Well, yeah, maybe it should. But um, this thing was sitting in a yard, rotting down for the last forty years, and now it's going to be back on the road. So I think it's way better off than it was. Yeah. And it's a car that the family the original owner still has the car. The original owner's family still has a the car. They can drive it, not worry about it. If it does get a shopping cart run into it or something. It'll just antique it a little, and the end of the world. Instead of having the damn thing so perfect, you don't want to make a mark on it, which really, honestly, kind of sucks. I like to drive one. So, I mean, it's a rare car. It's an expensive car, probably, if you want to sell it. But it's, uh, still doesn't mean it has to be restored today. If we're preserving it, maybe somewhere up the road, somebody will. If they do, God bless them, but uh, it ain't happening right now. If it's not in the budget, I don't have the time in my schedule. I'm not donating time, so like it's not in the budget. So we're we're just you know I mean I'm I'm giving a little on this because I really like the project. It's fun, but I can't I can't give that much. <laughs> it's but I love the, I love the idea of saving this car. Like this this thing I've known this car since I was a kid. It's kind of a local legend. I just. You know, it was, it was really cool for me to get a chance to bring it back. I'm, 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 I'm tickled to death to see some paint on it. I hope it looks the way I want it to look. We're going to find out. We'll, we'll come back to you here in a little bit when we start getting the base coat on it. When I get the base coat on it and it starts sanding through, we'll come back. And we'll... That's going to come around. Yeah, it, this is a little stressful for me, honestly. But, but you know, I can, I can almost paint it, like, shiny pretty easier than I can do what I'm trying to do here. But... If I can get the look I want, everything will be good. Hopefully they're happy. And uh, hopefully they have the same vision I've got. I, I know what I want to see on it. I hope, hope we're on the same page. But it, uh, we'll see how she turns out here. And uh, a little something different for me. Should be interesting. Yep. All right. I'll give you an idea with a red oxide on it why I abandoned the idea of trying to keep very much green. She's pretty much... Tells the story. So I'm going to start laying some color on it here. See what happens. I probably, uh, Todd was just talking about it. it. Sounds like a good idea. I think I might put a thin coat of clear on it uh, now. And then I'll sand it all. And it'll give me a, that'll give me a pretty good base to work from. Um, it'll give me a shot to sand out any little imperfections and uh, any of that kind of shit. And if the bug gets in it or whatever, it's not the end of the world. And then, uh, I would have just a thin coat to spray on it to be done, which would be good. I think I think that'll work pretty good. I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll see. We'll get into it here. But next step is green. Yeah, the base coat's on her. It's looking pretty cool. I'll let that set up a bit and I'll come back and put some clear on. But I'm pretty tickled to this so far. This is looking bitchy. Actually. Darn thing doesn't look too bad. You see some of those, like I'm talking about, you, you can see some of those little dings that were in it. There's a lot of them around. I did fix some, but that hood was going to be something else to get into. But there is, there's quite a few little imperfections in it, you know. 
I mean, <clears throat> this is factory lead. That's the way the thing was made. Incredible to me, but uh, though I did shit on these, it was this in here is really humpy crooked. I mean, just factory lead. I did straighten it a touch, just block and primer, but uh, I left it alone. I'm trying not to become the anal retentive body man here. As I age, it seems to be happening. I don't know if any of you guys remember the old anal retentive chef skit from the old, we used to call my cousin the anal retentive body man because he was mega careful. When he told me one was ready to paint, it was straight as a string. But uh, <laughs> that was a long time ago. Back when men were men and women could cook. All right, we're in the middle of the sanding part now. What I'm doing is I'm just sanding normal. And if something happens, it happens. I'm trying to have it look like pretty natural. Pretty much the way things would happen. What I did here, I sanded this with the DA and I'm, I'll wet sand everything. Before I do everything, I'm gonna do my edges. So if something happens, I rub through. I'm not intentionally trying to rub through anywhere. I'm just sanding normally. And if it rubs through, it's just a happy little accident. Because if I force it to happen somewhere, then it's just going to be fake. It won't look legit. But see that edge rub through there a little bit. I got quite a few spots. Uh, here and there. Some spots you'd expect, some spots you wouldn't. You know, that's an edge. Pretty obvious. You can see in here, it's slightly through. You know, that looks pretty legit. Um, I don't want to overdo it by any means. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. Here and there. Got a couple along here, as you can see. A little bit in there again. Again, not completely through. Just, you know, a little spot here and there. And that's just from rubbing it the way you would if you was washing it or waxing it or whatever. You know, you can see a little one in there. This fender over here actually had a few. It must be this fairly thin. You can see there and along the bottom in there a little bit. So, you know, it definitely looks aged. Uh, trunk lid, that got hit there. A little bit on the back. I guess the clear is pretty thin back here because it broke through very easily. But, uh, and you can see that red oxide and the white, or the, the gray, so it's just like the factory stuff was. So, I don't know. I think it's be all right. This back here, I have to check on a little bit. I've got the RT stripe going on it. I may actually end up putting some green base over this and this. Because I don't really want to... If there's supposed to be a stripe there, then there wouldn't likely be a wear spot, you know, where the stripe was. So, I'm thinking I'm going to maybe end up covering these guys so they don't have like a, a rub spot intersecting into a stripe. But... Very easy to do. I'll just fog a little base over it before I put my semi-gloss clear. So, kind of no biggie. But, uh, I'd be about the only place I manipulate outside of just letting nature take its course and getting a rub spot where a rub spot happens, you know. But, uh, I mean, I'm thinking it's going to look bitching. I brought the customer up, made sure they were happy before I just threw this at them. <laughs> this is just kind of my impression of what this should be so make sure we're all on the same page they seem good with it so should be fun the old hood it doesn't really have much it's it's pretty rub free it's got a little area right there where there's a little ding from the inside which i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave that or not to be honest with you I, i'm kind of on the fence on that one but the rest of them I'll pretty much leave. You know, like all this is pretty natural. You can see that. That would very likely happen. Just from paint aging, you know. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll get some clear on it and see how it looks.
but I'll finish wet sanding it. But I'm just doing just what I showed you. I'm just dragging the paper over it. Uh, we're in the flat areas just to save time. I took the DA with 320 and just cut it. And then I'm going over the whole thing and wet sanding it to blend it in. And I didn't try it getting like around corners or anything with the DA because then I could end up getting something that looks kind of fake and weird and I'll force edges and I don't want that. So I'm, I'll do that hand paper. And it kind of simulates a wash rag or something, you know, or a wax cloth or whatever. Well, hell, a lot more than a, than a DA is going to do. So, um, yeah, so just stay at it. Hand paper, I think we'll have it. Well, the big Mopar has its paint job. I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, anybody tells you this is easier than doing a nice shiny one, probably don't listen. But it's kind of it's kind of fun to do. Now, the fact that I didn't do as much body work is easier, but the paint job is no easier. I think this will dull down just a bit from what it is. I, I just sprayed it. Um, it's sort of tacking up, but then you can see places where it's starting to flash off a little, a little flatter. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking it'll end up just about right. You know, you can see it kind of on the roof here. I don't know how it shows on the camera, but it looks pretty shiny, yeah. honestly. I don't want it dull. I don't want it to look like a fake. You know, somebody sprayed the thing flat to look old. I want it to look like a old lacquer paint job that I took a buffer to. And, you know, but I think it kind of has that a little bit. I don't know how much you showed like you kind of wore. I did show that some. To the red oxide a little bit and you it does. The, fender, right, the high spots kind of showed through. and You know, there's places here and there in the car. I didn't do a lot of them. I did some here and there. Some in the back here. It actually ended up sort of interesting the way it turned out. I guess just the way it sprayed, but I ended up fairly thin in here and on the back of the trunk lid too, so it actually will look fairly convincing. Along here, this just broke through a lot. It was, again, it was just a natural thing. Probably didn't have quite as much material there. Um, you know, in this fender. In this fender, this is legit. This is, because uh, I didn't put any red oxide down here. So actually what's showing through is original. When I sanded through, I, I got through my green in my first coat there to get it smooth and I got into the original stuff a little bit. So, I mean, that kind of tells you what we're doing. Actually, the only problem is that red oxide is just a touch darker than what I put on there, but it, uh, they mixed that for me a little brighter. You see the back of the trunk lid? You know, it's kind of... Yeah, aged and, uh, and you can see up here where I exposed the old trailer, pulled tape off. Kind of gives you an idea and Everything sort of works together. That old trim doesn't look completely out of place on that car. It, uh, you know, I, mean, I think it'll, I think it's gonna fly. It, if it dulls off just a hair more, it would be good. If it doesn't, I think I can actually kind of live with it. But I think that natural white would look really cool. It, uh, these fluorescents in here, man, they're not very forgiving. It's rough. But you consider, if you go back and look at the videos, earlier videos, I mean, this was kind of a rotten pile down through here around that back window, and I had to do something with it, and um, we weren't really in restoration mode, we were getting her back on the road mode, and I think this will kind of fly without having to buy all the new trim and do all the new stuff and spend way more money than you want to spend and not dare drive the car after, I think this will, I think this will work, so... And it, I'm actually less offended by, doing it this way especially, I'm less offended by the dings I left in and stuff than I thought I'd be. It kind of, it kind of works. It's not a terrible way to do you it. You can really see it on the hood over here, actually. No, this no, side no. of the hood is pretty the hammered. It's beat up, like the poor old hood. But it actually kind of. I could have spent a week on that hood, you know. Like it actually works, though. To, to get that hood straight, like, like. It's been a week. Really straight. Because that hood gives a little bit when you sand on it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not just something you just go after. The metal on this thing is not super thick. See, there is some stuff in it, but it actually looks right. And then you get the some 
blow-ins that almost look a little bit like wear-throughs and there, there's some kind of neat and you figure too now this is fresh you rub this thing with an old wash rag a couple times you're gonna have those slight abrasions on the surface so it'll really look i think pretty damn convincing like old paint not that we're trying to fool anybody but i mean i just want it to look right it's you know i mean the car's not for sale ever from what i can tell so it's, nobody's nobody's trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes here and say it's original paint. It's just it's just to look right. I want it to look like we dug it out, buffed it up, brought it back to life. Mm. I think it's going to be fairly convincing. We get all the trim on it and stuff. We'll do another video. We get ready to start putting the interior together and stuff, and we'll show it with all the trim on it and kind of glass clean, ready to rock. It'll look it'll look bitchy. It ought to be a pretty sweet yeah. survivor. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Kind of cool. You know, you see like the terrible lead seam that was done terribly right from Dodge and stuff. I was stuff. actually talking to them about that. They said that's been that way since the car was new. <laughs> you imagine? Well, I'm sure it was. You know, but, but look how fussy we get today. I mean, this is what Dodge did. Yeah, I mean, they just Boop. slopped that over there. This yeah. one, they just slopped over there. I think this one cracked a bit over time. But this too without you sanding it to fix it terrible yeah work. i actually I mean, did smoothing this a bit here but it smoothened it a lot i mean it was not well it sanded. actually smoothed it up more than i thought it would have for what i did because i really didn't like kill myself on it. this side you would have thought they would at least do that but i mean you're talking stuff sticking up you're talking yeah you know all of that is well, just... i mean the underhood of this thing there's paint runs all over it from the factory like i mean i think yeah. if you put the trainers on this thing a little bit yep but uh well, that, see, that corner is really starting to... Yeah, off. that's got the look. It's that's definitely got the look. I'm hoping the whole car is not just about there as it drives. I think it will. It's changing as we talk, so... It's, uh, I'm, I believe by tonight when everything's cured. Yeah, I'm curious to see it tonight outside, like, yeah, all out, uncovered. and It's going to be sweet. Yes, sir. It's going to be sweet. All right. You can look at the final results here. Pretty happy with this shine. It's just about right. You wanted old lacquer paint, you know. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. You never know when that's the problem doing this uh, flattening agent, you know, because if you put too much paint on it, it it'll or a lot of paint on, it's going to be a little shinier than thinner coats and so on. And you know, so there's just no perfect recipe you can do. You kind of guess as you go. But uh, I was hoping I got done. It was a little shinier than I really wanted. Uh, I kind of figured as it dried, it would get right, and it did. It just hit it. Because I don't want it flat. You know, I don't want it to look like I'm trying to make a a flat deal by any means. I just want it to look like old old paint. It's aged out. I think that hit pretty good. Because, you know, if you look at a clear coat, I mean, clear coat is just too hard shiny for these old cars. And especially if you're trying to make it look like old paint that's been there for a while. So, uh, just doesn't work for me. But this year, I'm, I'm, I'm tickled to death with this. That's just what I was after.